to share with us about Rebel and Misfits' latest productions of The Realistic Joneses, written by Will Eno, is artistic director and actor Kelly Hammer. Hello. <laughs> and director Edward Cofield. Hi, how are you? It's you know, great I know to be some here. other Cofields. Uh oh. And they My have cousins. beards too. Here. They <laughs> might be. They could be. They Absolutely. could be. They live in U City. Oh, see? Oh, well, goodness. I mean, my goodness, there I might know. be you. Uh, and everybody has a beard. And, and everybody's beautiful, so you can Well, right there in. you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm so Thank excited you, to Gina. have you all here. This is so exciting for me. I'm, first of all, everybody knows that you know I'm an actress and I love the performing arts and it's just, uh, it feeds my spirit. But on top of that, this production sounds like everything that a contemporary production should be. A little reality, a lot of humor, a lot of, um, what should I say? A lot of lessons. Yes. And so let's get started. Yes, let's talk about let's this play. Talk about this. First of all, but before we go there, Rebel and Misfits? Yeah, that's right. It's, it's from a Steve Jobs quote. It's my favorite quote of all time. Um, this is the summary of it, because it's actually quite long. He had this quote where he said, here's to the rebels, here's to the misfits, because the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Absolutely. And I, am I love it. That crazy. I think that I can change the world through storytelling. You make so much more sense now. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> See, we're I having a I'm moment. Sure we're a lot of people have moment. wondered yeah. about where this title came from, but that's it. It came from there. Well, and I've known you a long time. It does completely now fit it, you. Yeah, now yeah, it makes yeah. the whole Absol picture complete. Oh, my God, yes. And you're not from St. Louis. You are from New York. Well, I'm from Illinois, and then I went to school here, but then, yes, New York. Oh, right. And you are the artistic director, the new artistic director for the, the, new, new, the new Jewish Theater. He the is. New Jewish he theater. takes over next I year. I spent um, my first 28 years here at the Repertory Theater, and uh, now I'm at the New Jewish Theater. theater. And I heard there's great things going on over there. It's an, it's an amazing place. And we're so happy to be able to, to host uh, Rebel and Misfits. Yes, it's so exciting. We're actually doing our production in their theater, in our that space, beautiful yeah. black box. And this is an immersive, this is not an immersive okay, production. This, immersive. this It's not necessarily traditional, but it's not immersive. I, I'll explain immersive, which is this whole new beast. This is probably the most traditional piece yeah. that I've done ever. I'm known for doing very out of the box things. Exactly, so why did you pick this particular production? This play means a lot to me um, for, for a myriad of reasons. One being that I've known Will Eno, the playwright, for a few years. Um, we ran in the same circle back in New York. I was there for some of the most early readings of his plays and I remember hearing those words for the first time and thinking, my God, this man is going to be huge. He's going to be the playwright of his generation. Mm -hmm. His voice is just so singular, so specific. Like you could just pick up a book and if you knew he, and if you read like one sentence, you'd go, oh, boom, Willie you know wrote that sentence. Mm -hmm. There's no question about it. And he and I formed a friendship and I saw this play when it first premiered at Yale Repertory Theater in New mm -hmm. Haven. And it was absolutely sublime. It was everything you want in a play. It was extremely funny. It was a little existential. Mm. And yet it was about this really dark, deep topic, mortality. Something that connects every one of us, but something that none of us uh, communicate well about um, in any stage, whether you're the one um, going through you know, a, a, a scary sort of like def life defining moment where you have to face death or whether your partner is or someone else, you know, it's, a, it's also about the secrets we keep about it. And, you know, it, it also had a transfer onto Broadway where it was, you know, it was very starry, the cast, Tracy Lutz, who's probably the least famous, but he's actually for theater mm -hmm. people, huge, right. brilliant playwright. He played uh, Bob and Tony Collette, play the lead role, and then we had Michael C. Hall and Marissa Tomei in the other roles. And it was a smash on Broadway, which was amazing because it has a very downtown New York vibe That's to it. Right. So the fact that it was able to sell on Broadway was in and of itself amazing. And it had never been premiered here in St. Louis. And any time I get a chance to premiere a show that hasn't been done, I, I snatch it up. And this one just came along, and I picked it right up. I am so excited to learn more. But we've got to run to... We, 
we've got to pay the bills. So sure. stay with us here at STL Live. We'll learn more about the realistic Joneses after this break. I'm excited.